Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of the second episode yeah. of uh, season four of The Walking Dead. Yeah, infected. Yeah, so like lots of stuff happening here. Zombie outbreak, Rick's the, you know, back to being the sheriff. We have a doctor uh, <laughs> who broke down every single detail. What it is, is an inflammation in the lungs. Blah, 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 blah. So we know what, what it's caused. I know a lot of people are speculating, is it the water? Mm -hmm. What's going on now? We know it was some flu. Yeah. Some bad virus. Yeah. Um, so let's let's start off with the zombie outbreak, which yeah. is kind of like the main thing of the whole episode is, you know, <laughs> that kid Patrick died last episode from some sort of flu. And, and, and like we know now, it's like you cannot just get uh, turned into a zombie from being bitten by a zombie. If you right. just die, you turn into a zombie. Right, yeah, which, I mean, there's a part of the comic book, they didn't do this here, but... Mm. You know, Rick's like, we are the walking dead. You mm -hmm. know, he has this realization that if you just die, no matter how you die, with a heart attack or you're bitten, like, you're going to turn into a zombie no matter what. Everybody is infected. So it's like a double infection. Yeah. Of course, you're infected with whatever is going on in the world that makes you a zombie, and you're also mm -hmm. infected from this, this flu that's been spreading, which introduces us to some new characters. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know anybody's name. It'd be two little cute blonde girls and... Their dad died, and I don't know what's going and on. And then Carol's know. calling one of them weak. <laughs> I know, I girl's like, you're weak. So somebody's just got to tell you. It's like, she's a little girl. Like, give me a, wow. Yeah. It's like, Carol was weak Tough a couple love. seasons ago. Tough I know. Love. All right, yeah. But now, like, she has the, she has to be this mother figure to these two girls True. that lost her mm -hmm. father True. in that uh, outbreak. So uh, we'll see if the, that relationship deepens, you know, more. Because, you know, there was something, you know, we saw with... Tyrese in the beginning with his girl. You know, we really haven't gotten into that relationship. Mm -hmm. They've shown little hints of that, but now we know that she, you know she's she's dead yeah. at the end of the episode. Um, he wants to know who did it. Yeah. yeah, because there's like he doesn't know who we don't know who did it because he saw like they were both burnt mm -hmm. with gasoline, and we also the mystery of who's feeding the zombies and bringing them in because right. the person with the flashlight and the rats. Mm -hmm. We don't know who's doing that and why. Like, why right. would you do that? Right. And there's a huge group of new people at the prison right mm. now from, you know, from the town. So we don't really know. We're still meeting new characters every yeah. week. So who knows who's, who's doing what? Yeah. So what do you think of, of just the, the action overall with, <laughs> with all the zombies coming in and, 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 and taking over the prison? I mean, it's cool. I mean, they're, The Walking Dead is, does a great job at set pieces. Mm. I mean, the one last week with the zombies falling through, you know, yeah. the helicopter coming down, zombies falling through the ceiling. It's cool. It looks good. I don't know how interesting of a story it is from a storytelling perspective. I still think The Walking Dead struggles with storytelling mm. sometimes. I feel like it gets, I don't, I don't know, it gets bogged down in whatever it is. It gets bogged down. And I, 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 it's, it's good. I just don't, I wasn't wrapped in this, I wasn't into the story this week. But the set pieces are great. Yeah. Greg Nicotero does an amazing job with the special, I mean, like, when that guy was pushing his head through oh. the fence and, like, the, it was like, oh, I mean, <laughs> and the guts falling out of the guy when he's rolling out of bed. I mean, it looks great. But um, story-wise, I don't know. I thought this episode was maybe a little bit weaker than last week's, I thought. Well, I think it was a much simpler episode. It was just about the outbreak and how right. it affected everyone. Right. And now you have all these people like quarantined and you can't talk to this person, you can't talk to that person. Right. Um, but I guess one of the bigger developments in it is is Rick's relationship with his son, Carl. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how Carl, you know, had to use the gun to save Michonne and how Rick, you know, was forbidding him to do that. Mm -hmm. But he gave his his gun back to him right. at the end and right. then sheriff put and then and then rick put on his little like he's back his, yeah he's the back. sheriff's yeah, back in right. town yeah. he he got his his right. little uh cop belt right uh and and his gun so it looks like he's ready to do battle what do you think of his decision to kill the pigs in order to uh lure the zombies away like they're not sure the pigs are the... Re they're just speculating, right? Mm -hmm. That and the pigs could right. possibly be part because, of the flu. Because, you know, like, kind of like airborne, like, birds, pigs, the doctor mm -hmm. was breaking down, like, that's how some of these viruses are, mm -hmm. are affected. But, I mean, it seemed a little excessive. Like, couldn't you just do one and, like, have a little trail of yeah, blood? Kind of like you I would, thought. you know, if you were trying to catch a fish or something, instead of killing all their pigs. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. that's a lot of pork. Yeah. That's their dinner. I don't think they need to kill that many pigs. But I guess, you know, maybe they just don't want to risk it and they don't... They don't want to be like, here, you try a piece, right, and, yeah, and like, right, let's right. see what happens to you. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I don't know. I mean, 
it's just weird. I don't know. I mean, what, what, what are your, what's your opinion on the storytelling this season? I mean, are you liking where the story's going? I know it's still too early. It's only two episodes yeah. in, but are you liking where the story's going? Or um, I mean, I think it's fine. I just think it's it's not uh, too complex, mm -hmm. and that we really, I mean, something like an outbreak or a flu it isn't as big as as they think it is. You know what I right, mean? Yeah. Like dun dun dun, yeah. it's the flu. You yeah. know, and like we're you know. It's like yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I am curious. I thought it was an interesting scene. Kind of a small scene away mm -hmm. from all the action, but the scene with Michonne mm -hmm. uh, and the baby. You mm -hmm. know, the baby throws up, and Michonne is reluctant to, to hold the baby, and then she ends up holding him and starts just breaking down and crying. So I wonder if we'll get some more explanation into, you mm -hmm. know, more story into Michonne's past and why that little baby is so troubling to her. Like every time the baby cries or whatever, she just seems to break down. So maybe mm -hmm. we'll get some more story into that later. I don't know. They, we do have the mystery of the, the who right. who's mm -hmm. feeding the zombies and also who burnt the bodies. I, right. Probably the same person, mm -hmm. most likely. And they have to explain why this person is doing doing it. I think that's maybe, hopefully, going to be a driving force in the next few episodes. But yeah. at the same time, you can't carry that that on. Yeah, too not long. too far. Hopefully, it'll get resolved next week, and then yeah. you know we're still not really sure what the main prob what the main story is going to be for the season. No. I mean, is it going to be the prison? Is it going to be the governor we know is still Better out there. Better not be the flu. I mean, the yeah. flu can last like a couple episodes, right? I don't want to see outbreak version of, you know, The Walking Dead. But the flu like, can't be like the main story point from, right. from here until the end of the season. It's like when people are becoming zombies, you can't make a flu the main, yeah, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, you can post your comments below on our website, thinkhero.com, or on our YouTube channel, that's Think Hero Pro. Make sure you subscribe to that. If you also want to come check us out on Twitter, uh, we're at Think Hero. Talk to Dennis, myself. Uh, personally, I'm at Griffin DE. And we also have a Facebook page that's uh, facebook.com slash thinkgirlfans.